फ्रेंड आई एम नवल यू आर वॉचिंग कोड विथ नवल वेलकम टू जावा सीरीज पार्ट फिफ्टी वन इन लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इनपुट आउटपुट क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रीम क्लासेस देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रीम क्लासेस फर्स्ट वन इज बाई स्ट्रीम एंड सेकंड वन इज कैरेक्टर स्ट्रीम वी कैन यूज दिस टू क्लासेस दिस टू स्ट्रीम क्लासेस एंड वी कैन परफॉर्म एनी इनपुट आउटपुट ऑपरेशन it used to handle input and output of bytes bytes used for its handling input and output of bytes here you can see it used to read and write a sequence of byte data for a perform byte stream java provide a two abstract class at the top of hierarchy there are two one is a input stream and second one is a output stream and these two abstract classes have a several concrete classes so what do you mean by concrete classes concrete classes is a fully implemented classes we can simply create a object those classes those concrete classes and we can use a, those concrete classes but abstract classes means partially complete classes we can't create a abstract classes object okay here you can see in this table here we have a few byte stream classes the first one is a buffer input stream then buffer output stream then data input stream then file then input stream then print stream this all these classes come under byte stream classes we will discuss each and every classes with the practical so first understand what is the buffer input stream classes and buffer output stream classes okay here you can see here we have a two buffer input buffer output stream and then buffer input stream so let's first understand what is the buffer output stream classes java buffer output stream classes is used to write information in a stream it internally use a buffer mechanism to make the performance fast you can see here we can uh, java internally use a buffer mechanism for improve the performance buffer output stream is used to internally buffer memory for a perform operation buffer help to improve performance it's internally using a buffer memory then we have a buffer input stream buffer input stream class is used to read information from stream it internally use a buffer mechanism to make the performance fast buffer input stream is used internally buffer memory for a perform operation buffer help to improve performance is used to read data from file or console or socket okay both buffer input stream and buffer output stream both using a buffer mechanism and buffer memory internally for improve the performance okay let's open eclipse and do this all thing in a practically i'll simply create here one new package for performing all input output operation okay i'll simply give io okay i'll simply give io classes this package name is the io classes inside of this io classes i'll simply create i'll simply create this this one is a buffer output stream okay i'll simply create this class is a buffer output and stream okay let's save this and i'll simply create here main method okay let's create here main method first we will perform buffer output stream okay let's create a buffer output stream class buffer output stream okay let's give object name b o f shortcut is buffer output stream equal to new buffer output stream okay here we need to provide some output value okay we can provide here file output stream object or we can provide here system dot out right now we want to print whatever we provide output we want to print that output in a console that's why i'll simply write here system dot out okay system dot out you can see here our buffer output stream object created successfully now i want to write something i'll simply create one string string and uh, i'll simply add this string variable i am i am coder i am coder or i am programmer okay now for adding this string inside a buffer output stream first we need to convert stream means byte stream we need to convert this all in a byte stream so how can we convert that for that i'll simply use here byte i'll simply create a byte array okay and 
inside of this byte array we will store we will simply convert this string and we store this string inside of this byte array for that we have a method s dot get bytes okay whatever inside this s variable we we want to get all those byte and we want to store those byte inside this byte array okay we can we have done this okay simply we convert and we store all this inside a byte array then we have a we will simply use this object buffer output stream and we have a some option okay we want to write we want to write this buffer output stream you can see it's throwing error okay this error is a generating catch exception this error is a only recognize our compiler okay that's why here we got two option we can simply delegate this error or we can simply add inside a try catch block we already saw exception all concept we can delegate or we can simply add inside a try catch block okay in this time we can we will simply add this all inside a try catch block now let's save this and let's run this i'll simply click right click here and java application you can see here we got nothing okay whenever we perform some output operation using a file then we have to flush those changes okay we, i'll simply add here flush method and then bof dot close okay we have to close that output stream and then first we have to flush then we have to close that output stream okay i simply added here flush and then close okay let's run this program again you can see here we got i am a programmer okay before adding this two method we didn't get this output because here first we have to close this connection whatever connection we open here we have to close and we have to flush this connection okay now here we saw this two statement now i want to pass data i want to don't i don't want to pass data in a console i want to print data inside a file okay for that i have to add here you can see here we saw this classes file input stream file output stream okay right now i want to write something inside a file using a buffer output stream for that first we have to create this file output stream object okay i'll simply create here file file output stream object okay you can see yup o u t okay simply give equal to new file output stream and here we need to pass the file path okay let's pass file path okay i'll simply open here eclipse okay i'll simply you can see here we have a program inside a program i'll simply create here one new folder okay let's create here folder file path okay let's give here file path name okay let's open this and copy this all path okay i'll simply copy this all path paste here okay and uh, we need to add this also we can simply delegate this exception okay here we added a file path but here we here inside this folder here we don't have a any file okay let's i'll simply add here demo1 dot txt right now here we don't have any file but i need i need to create that file at a com, at a run time only for that we don't need to create that file this this file output stream only create that file for us okay let's add this inside here instead of system dot out add here yep out yep out okay this file output stream object here you can see first we create a file output stream object then we pass that object inside a file buffer output stream and simply here we write one string and convert that string in a byte then we simply write that stream using a write method then flush then close okay let's save this and i'll simply run this program you can see here we don't get any error okay let's open this folder you can see here we, here this file is added let's open this file you can see inside this file i am a programmer this write operation successfully perform okay i'll simply add here few more i am a programmer i like like code okay let's save this run this 
and uh, let's open this file you can see i am programmer i like code this all string added inside this file now here we simply perform this write operation now i want to read i want to perform a read operation that that nothing but file input stream okay i'll simply comment there this one is a write write operation now i want to perform this read operation okay i'll simply add here file i'll simply add here okay i want to read this same file okay i'll simply add here file output file input stream first add here file input file input stream okay yup in equal to new file input stream and inside here i will simply pass this same same url okay let's copy this and add here and double backward slash demo okay add here demo 1.txt semicolon and then create here buffer input stream okay let's create a buffer input stream object b in b i n buffer input stream equal to new add here buffer buffer input stream okay here we need to pass this object file input stream object okay here we simply pass that object then we have to write we have to print all data whatever data present inside this buffer input stream this file this demo1.txt file i need to print all that data for that i have to write some logic i'll simply add here int int one variable create okay then i'll simply write here while loop while and inside this i i need to store i need to store i equal to whatever b in okay b in dot read okay i am reading here okay if this b in dot read not equal to minus 1 okay minus 1 means there is no text remain inside this demo dot file when we get minus 1 that means this file is a no text no text available after that that while okay here we simply add i equal to bin dot read okay now i need to add for this also i need to add a try catch block i'll simply throw this delegation okay you can see here simply added io exception top class okay parent class now i i am printing this simply system dot out dot print ln this i okay let's save this and uh, remember when when we open this all classes then we have to close this all classes also here we forgot to close this yap out class okay let's close this yap out dot close okay then here also we need to close first we need to close yap in first we need to close this bin okay bin dot flush okay for input classes there is no flush only there have a close method okay let's add here close method then here we have a file input here also we have a close method okay let's save this and run this okay i'll simply running here you can see here we got this ascii value okay this all ascii value okay let's remove this ln Okay, I'll simply remove this ln and let's run. You can see here we got all this ASCII value. So I want to print this text, whatever text present inside this file. I want to print that text. I don't want to print ASCII value. For that, what we can do? We can simply typecast this ASCII value in a character. Simply add here character and whatever ASCII value that convert in a character. Okay, let's save this. and run this you can see i am a programmer i like code okay here we got let's comment this above code this right operation code i'll simply comment this right operation code let's save this 
and run this you can see here you got i am a programmer i like code okay i'll simply change something here okay let's close this file i'll simply open this file you can see i am a programmer i like code i'll simply add i like java code okay then i'll simply add anything okay okay what you like what you like okay this three line we added okay let's run this program i'll simply run this you can see here we got output i am a programmer i like code then i like java code okay what you like here we simply perform first write operation first we simply write whatever whatever uh, output we write simply that in a console then we write that in a file then we simply read that file we simply using a file input stream we read that file then buffer output stream we pass that file object then using this while uh, logic we simply write here some logic i equal to bin dot read not equal to minus 1 minus 1 means there is no value present inside this file okay till that this while loop continuously running and it's providing us this ascii value we simply convert that ascii value in a character and we print that output okay here we cover this buffer input stream and buffer output stream okay in this video that's it next video we will see next topic till that bye bye